He's a big man in a van. He's a big man in a van. Hello, YouTube family. It is me and Soli in Helga. Say hi, Soli. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> and uh, so I want to talk to you a little more about my van Helga here and what I use it for and how my life is and what I, why I did this. Um, I talked about a little more. I just uh, bef in the past I wanted to go camping and uh, I wanted to get an RV. And then when the van the idea of van life came along, I saw that and went, "Oh, this is this is the way." And then I bought this van because I got it for like thirty five hundred bucks, and I could um, afford it. I had that much, at least that much in the bank. So I put that in and got it and didn't want to have a van payment or anything to go along with everything else in my life. And then I just did my own budget upgrades to it. And like I mentioned before, I've never built anything in my entire life, but, uh, started out with this and I've been really enjoying and learning how to do it. A lot of trial and error, but that's just life, right? Um, but I don't know where to look when I'm filming this like where's the camera at i feel like my i'm always off in distance let's see the camera over this way okay weird okay i know what i'm doing <laughs> i don't know i've never made these videos before this is the first time i've done anything like this so i'm learning all this from scratch too anyway i'll just record and what it is what it is um but anyway i'm going to uh talk to you a little bit more about this i don't have a, a roof vent or anything let me flip this around okay there's the back of the van so me and jamie my wife we will lay long ways here and this bed isn't quite long enough for me i'm five foot eleven tent well eleven is probably what i put my driver's license but ten is probably reality and so five foot 10 and my feet hang off of this thing. It's just a little bit short. And so, uh, but I kind of had to keep it this way because it has that fold out bench. And this is as far as that I went forward this way. Where I'm at. Far, far as I went forward this way on the end here. And um, if you could, because it's a custom van and I didn't rip everything apart, I kind of left it the way it was. It has these big, Boy, let me film this. You know, it has these big parts that come out here. Just they could put a cup holder in here. I know it probably goes out to where the uh, wheel well is and everything, but there's a lot of wasted space in here. Maybe if I really get industrious, I will rip all this apart one day and redo the whole thing and make more room and do the bed this long ways or sideways like this. But also my wife says she doesn't like to climb over the top of people or have people climb over the top of her and we have to get out and we have to use the bathroom in the middle of the night and I'm 48 now, so that's a pretty common occurrence. <laughs> anyway, uh, so kind of got lost my train of thought there. But basically, so my bed isn't quite long enough either direction. So what I've done is I have this, uh, ottoman here this little storage ottoman we got i think it's like 20 bucks or something off of amazon it has blankets and stuff in it but i will put that let's see i didn't bring my tripod out here i will put that over here on the end of the bed coming off and then i actually let's see if i can show you this cushion it's that cushion in the center center console that i built that's on top that was not meant for that that was a happy circumstance there or that uh, it happened to fit that perfectly and it matches the other seat covers which are getting washed right now because Sully had a little puking accident not too long ago anyway <laughs> boy i'm really going a squirrel what okay um so uh, that cushion was made for this and it sits on top of this. And when I put that down at the end of the bed, my feet do not dangle off the end of the bed. So, and I, I know it's not very wide. It's only like a uh, foot and a half wide or something, but it works out great. I've never had a problem. I sleep really good. I put it here and I stay on this side and my feet don't hang off the edge. I didn't think it would bug me at first when I, uh, tried to sleep in it, but it really did with my feet just kind of 
dangling down. It just didn't seem right. Even when I wrapped up in blankets and everything, I wasn't cold, but it was just, uh, it just felt weird. So I had to have something propping my feet up. But anyway, that works. And you can move this all around the van and use it as a seat. I use this as my main seat, just doing things in this living area. Um, so yeah, that's what I've done to make this work. I might do it differently in the future. If I, in fact, I know I will. If I get another van, um, you know, years and years from now, then I'm just looking at my mouth, look at my shirt. Okay. If I get another van, this is horrible, horrible video footage. Like I said, I didn't have my tripod with me. I just started filming. But if I get another van in the future, I want to get a high top or, or, uh, make something like this into a high top or maybe redo all this one. I don't know what I'm going to do, but this is really working well for what I use it for to go camping and on trips. And so I'm really happy with it and I didn't put a lot of money into it and it's comfortable. Um, and that's what I want to speak to you about today. I have, um, I don't have a ceiling fan. I think I started off that way, but here, let me flip this camera around. Okay. Back. Um, so what I'd like to do is I can't decide if I'm going to rip all this stuff out and put in some things. It's got this lighting from this custom van when it was built that, uh, you have some buttons in the, in the front up there where you can light up back here. I never use it though. I use the lighting that I got because I just don't want to just run lighting off of the, the battery and drain it down and everything. So, uh, I don't know much about electrical, but at some point I might rip all this stuff out and redo the ceiling and, and, uh, and if I do that, then I probably would center the the ceiling fan either back here above the bed or in the front. Or I thought about just making it easy and leaving everything al alone and just putting the fan, I think I'd have it right there above where this kitchen area is. I would suck everything out. I think that might be the best solution. But I'm also scared to cut a hole in the roof of my van and have leaks or anything like that because I've never done that. But... For now, what I have is this van's kind of cool. It's got these sliding windows um, open here. And like my nice storage solution that came from the dollar store and has got some Velcro on there. And that's where we set little extra things like your wallet and stuff while you're sleeping. I also got these from Amazon. They were really cheap and uh, inexpensive, I should say. And you can put your phone in there at night when we're sitting. We like to prop pillows up against this back door and sit up in here and play on our phones or whatever. And you can put your phone in there at bed and it's got a hole in the bottom right here that you can charge out of it. So I could set the little Jackery battery over here on the side and charge or whatever you want to do. But I digress as usual. So here's what I want to talk about today. So I don't have a fan in here. Uh, or have a roof fan, but I have some little fans. I have some little USB ones, which I'm not going to pull out. They're really awesome. They're packed away in the camping stuff underneath in the back, so kind of hard to get to. But I just bought this one. And the other USB ones, they charge and have a battery, and they last a long time and have a little light, and they're neat. But this one, I just wanted simple. All I'll do is plug it into this Jackery and turn this on. Boop. And it's got a little button in the back. It's got three speeds. There's low, medium, and high. And this little sucker, look how that's how big it is. It's not very big. It cranks some air. It's called a it's a best car. I got it off Amazon. So you can just type in best car, look it up on Amazon. Um and you can move this, I can move this around wherever. I mean it's got a pretty good cord on. I can move the jackery where I want. And it draws, let's look on here. Three whole watts. So basically, this is a, a Explorer 160 Jackery, and it. So you could run this for, I don't know, whatever three into 160 is. What is that? Uh, Fifty something. One, two, three. Anyway, you could run it a long time. We'll just say that. I don't want to do the math right now in my head. Um, for three watts, you could run this a very long time off of just that jackery i also have a, a 500 watt um uh, fun watt i think it's called um it's it, i read some really good reviews on that it's it's kind of an off brand but it's great and i just got that jamie gave it to me for an early father's day present i know it's not father's day yet 
but uh, she said, what do you want for Father's Day? And I said, I would like this very expensive battery, please. And she said, really? And I said, yes. And she said, okay, but I'm getting a nice Mother's Day present. So that's how it worked out. Anyway, I have that other battery too. And uh, so I can move that around wherever I want. I didn't want to deal with electrical. So I can charge those off of the, um, off the cigarette lighter which I only have one of in the front right there, but there's a couple more. I explained this before on the side of this chair. And at some point I'm gonna take the center console out that I built. And for one thing, put in these hinges the right way so the hardware is not exposed, but that's neither here nor there. And, and then I'm gonna drill some holes in the side so I have access to those uh, cigarette lighters on the side that used to run the VCR and TV combo when this was a custom first built a custom van in the 90s and I can leave uh, my battery inside of there and have plugged in and charging take it out and use it around the van where I, wherever I want and same with the jackery I can run it through there as well so that's a future upgrade uh, yes yeah, so that's basically I just want to kind of show you this van I just got this a few days ago and I haven't really even had a chance to use it up camping yet we didn't I didn't have it when we went camping the other day and uh but I'm excited to use this. It cranks out some air. I can sit back here. I like to sit up. My feet up. My ugly feet. And I can have that pointing at me and it feels great. Have these two windows open, getting some cross breeze going. And it feels pretty comfortable. Oh, here's something else I'll show you. This is how, how smart I am. So I got this, uh, here it is. This sense of indoor, outdoor uh, thermostat. That's what it's called, right? Thermometer? Thermometer. That's the proper terminology. I done be smarter to did. Um, and so the indoor temperature in the van right now is 77, a little warm. Might open a door. But uh, you notice how there is no outdoor one? Well, I was looking online on YouTube videos, of course, and the problem with the outdoor sensor is I could not find a good place to put it that was not in direct sunlight. So I'd have it in, in direct sunlight, it would not give an accurate reading at all. So I had it in direct sunlight, it would not give an accurate reading at all. And so I saw somebody's bright idea, oh, you should mount it under the hood. And I thought, well, isn't it really hot under the hood with the engine heat oh no just mount it away from where the hot areas of the engine are i'm like that just sounds stupid but i did it i mean how dumb am i that i did it and uh yeah it didn't register good at all it just registered how warm the engine compartment was or under the hood was and that didn't work so i had no place i couldn't find any place on this whole van that was really shaded or a good place to do it so then uh, I took the outdoor sensor and I got some industrial like Velcro or maybe it was just regular Velcro, probably more like regular Velcro and put it inside the bumper, the back bumper. And that actually worked for about a month. And then uh, one day I came out and I thought this might happen and that red zero and I went and checked and sure enough, it was gone. Good thing the entire thing only cost $11. But I want to get another one and find out a good place to put it. Um, I don't know how important it is. Maybe I'll just go old school and just stick one of those big regular thermometers in here um, on the wall and not worry about the temperature outside and use my phone to find out what that temperature is. So, boy, I rambled pretty good. But that's about it. Um, Future video will be upgrades, I think, of that center console, taking that all out. It's just in there with a couple of butterfly screws or butterfly nuts on top of some screws that come up to the bottom that had the old um, uh, the old VCR DVD combo. So I'll take that out. And oh, the other thing here, let me show you. So I like to paint, you saw in other videos. And I painted this and I was so excited to get this in here that I really rushed this painting. That is not my best work. It's kind of cool, but man, that turtle just looks like he's not a type of turtle I would do. In fact, I have a turtle sticker coming out that uh, I painted, I'll show you later. But I want to redo some of this. The clouds look kind of greenish, yellow. I'll put a lot more detail. So 
I'm going to really do this up nice and take it all apart and put the holes in there and everything and put it back together again. And, and I'll show you more detail about that uh, later on. But I was so excited just to get that built and done and proud of myself that uh, I rushed that painting. And, and I didn't think about the hardware being all wrong until somebody pointed that out in a van life page that I was on. And basically called me an idiot, but that's okay. We all learn as we go, right? So I'm learning. And yeah, that's all I got. So love y'all. Thanks for watching. And please like and subscribe. That would be fantastical if you could do that for me. And I will talk to you next time. He's a big man in a van. He's a big man in a